Alright, um, quick review of this 6Q Phoenix firing system. Um, well, uh, I'm pretty much just, the only thing I know to compare it to would be my, uh, 16Q firing system and my 6Q, um, sequencer. So what I'm going to pretty much go about is, um, start with the Qs. Um, the Qs are a single block Q. Um, you can kind of see by the size of my finger what kind of size you're looking at. It's fairly small. Um, the um, springs are a little weak. They're not very strong. Also, the grip teeth are weak. If I gave this um, these things a, a good yank, they'd probably slip out. Um, the um, cues are similar to this system. It's actually probably the same exact one. Um, the cues on this system are far better. Very strong springs and triple teeth which are a groove this way, a groove this way, and a groove this way. So it really bends and kinks the wire. It makes it almost impossible to yank out. So I really like the teeth on that one. These ones are horrible. And these are probably in between. Um, the teeth are better, but the spring strength is about the same. Um, it's six cues, um, no polarity, so it does not matter which um, e-mesh goes in where. Uh, you got a remote very small remote which I really like. It fits in your hand. It's nice to feel. The buttons are rubber unlike the um, remote for the 16Q firing system. It's a very large remote. It's, it's hard to work your hand up and down it. The buttons are plastic. They wiggle. Things like that. Um, these buttons are rubber. It's like a grippy rubber you'd find on your remote. Um, negative things about this. Um, it does have a, teles um, a telescopic antenna pretty decently long. This one has a telescoping antenna. It's a little bit longer. It's understandable. It's about an inch long, two inches longer. Um, this one has an on-off switch. This one does not, which I really don't like. Um, for safety issues, of course, but I guess I could always remove the battery if needed. But uh, as you can see, it's really easy to just bump this and uh, hit, um, break it. Um, so what you do is you Turn on the system on the side here. Power light comes on. I don't know if you can see, but you got um, continuity lights. One and two are out because that means they have continuity. This is the opposite um, of what traditional systems have. Usually the light will come on if there's continuity this way, it goes off. To prove that to you, I'm just going to remove um, a wire from here, number two, and the light comes on. Put the wire back in for continuity, and the light goes off. All right, firing the system is very easy. Um, let's fire number four here, and um, you'll see that the light will get a little bit brighter. Um, it doesn't, nothing happens to the power light, I believe, but the light will should get brighter. Yeah, it just kind of flashes a little bit lighter. Negative things about this is um, these LEDs are low quality. I'm not, sh I'm not sure if it's because of the voltage um, in the system. The system only takes six AA batteries, so it's about nine volts. I'm not sure if that could play a factor in this at all, but um, I'm not sure. But in the daylight, I'm right here, I'm in a dark room, but in the daylight, these LEDs are almost impossible to see, um, with an exception of the power light, which is brighter. Looks like we don't have a full connection here. Alright, so I have two um, Nichrome clip igniters in here. Within each clip I have a piece of quick fuse about two inches long, quick uh, firecracker fuse. So pretty much we're going to do a range test. I'm going to put this out. I'm going to see um, from the front of my house if it lights from my backyard. And then if it doesn't, I'll move a little bit closer and try the second fire. So let's do that. Alright, so I'm out here on the lake. Um, got the system here, uh, the two E-matches right there, I'm going to turn on the system, as you can see the lights are really hard to see, in daylight, continuity, looks good, so I'm just going to go back. Another thing I didn't mention about the system is that it, um, the 
This is just the prototype, I believe, and the man I bought this from has a new system coming out soon, which has battery doors. Well, this system you have to take completely apart with four screws in the back to get to the battery compartment. Alright, so I'm not sure how you're looking, but our uh, matches are about down there by the lake. We're up here. We're going to get out our um, remote, fully extending antenna, of course. And we're going to try inside. We're going to go inside the house. We're going to fire from by the front door, number one. All right, so here we go. And now, number one should have fired. We're not going to be able to tell until we go down there and look. But now we're going to try from here, which is about where I shoot my shows from, about on this deck down to the lake shore, which I believe looks around uh, 70, 80 feet. Um, the 16Q firing system has a five advertised 500 foot range. So, let's fire number two, and let's see if we can see any smoke. Yep, and right there, in that area, there's a little puff of smoke. So, it does work from this distance. So let's go see if it worked from inside. Alright, both E-matches did fire. So, it's uh, overall, it's a really good system for the price. I mean, um, if I could go back in time, I would not have bought my... Uh, my 16 Q system, I would just buy three of these, get 18 Qs for uh, $50 cheaper. Um, they're about 50 bucks. Um, prices do change, though. I'm not sure what the official price is. Um, works great. Um, the only negative thing I believe is this battery compartment, but that's not major because most battery doors you have to undo screws as it is. So uh, definitely a great system. Real compact. Plastic's a little thicker than the, uh, the $200 to 16Q system I have, um, so I highly recommend this.